In a small town on the outskirts of civilization, a stoner named Ethan lived a carefree life, finding solace and relaxation in the soothing embrace of cannabis. With each puff, his worries melted away, and he experienced a sense of euphoria, but little did Ethan know that his life was about to take a sinister turn. One fateful evening, as Ethan ventured through a bustling marketplace, he encountered a mysterious gypsy woman, cloaked in tattered garments and emanating an air of mysticism. She beckoned him with a crooked finger, curiosity piqued. Ethan approached, unaware of the dark intentions hidden within the depths of her soul. The gypsy peered into Ethan's eyes, her gaze filled with an ancient knowledge. She sensed the power of his connection to cannabis and harbored a deep resentment toward those who sought solace in its embrace. With a voice laced with malice, she cast a wicked curse upon the unsuspecting stoner. From that moment forward, whenever Ethan reached for his beloved cannabis, the vibrant buds transformed into lifeless oak leaves. The once fragrant aroma was replaced by a musty scent of decay, and the soothing effects were replaced by a sinister chip haunted by the curse. Ethan's life spiraled into darkness. Desperate to break free from the gypsy's malevolent grip, he sought out remedies and consulted with wise elders, but all efforts proved futile. The curse seemed unbreakable. Isolated and tormented, Ethan became a shell of his former self. The townsfolk whispered tales of his misfortune, attributing it to his dalliance with the supernatural. He became an outcast, abandoned by friends and family, with only the eerie rustle of a as the curse tightened its grip. Ethan's sanity began to wane. Haunting visions plagued his every waking moment and the line between reality and nightmare blurred. He witnessed the gypsy's face, twisted with malicious In a desperate act of redemption, Ethan embarked on a perilous journey to find the gypsy and confront the source of his torment. Guided by whispers and half-remembered tales, he ventured deep into the heart of a forbidden forest, haunted by his own fear. Finally, after an arduous quest, Ethan stood before the gypsy, her eyes gleaming with an unholy delight. With a trembling voice, he pleaded for mercy, begging her to release him from the curse that had shattered his life. But the gypsy, fueled by a vengeful spirit, refused to relent. She reveled in Ethan's suffering, reveling in the power she held over him. Her cackles echoed through the forest, drowning out his pleas for mercy. With a heavy heart and a glimmer of defiance, Ethan made a desperate choice. He reached within himself, tapping into a wellspring of inner strength. Fueled by determination, he lunged at the gypsy, grappling with her in a desperate struggle for freedom. As their bodies collided, a burst of energy surged through the air. Lightning crackled, and a powerful gust of wind swept through the forest. In that moment of chaos and upheaval, the curse shattered dispersing into the ether. With the curse broken, 
Ethan collapsed to the forest floor, breathless but victorious. The gypsy, defeated and powerless, vanished into the shadows. Her malevolence banished, Ethan emerged from the forest a changed man, forever scarred by the ordeal. Though the curse was lifted, the memories haunted him, a constant reminder of the fragility of his existence. From that day forward, he vowed to respect the power of the supernatural and tread carefully through the world of indulgence. And so, the tale of Ethan, the stoner cursed with oak leaves, serves as a chilling reminder of the dangers that lurk when one trifles with forces beyond their understanding. It warns of the repercussions that await those who naively underestimate the power of ancient curses and the price they may pay for their indulgences.